had a heart of gold. He wanted to please everybody. That was that was Patrick all the time. Really uh, jolly, jolly good kid. Um, always happy, always wanted to make people laugh. Patrick Poitra is being remembered as a hard worker, a good person that was always there to help his loved ones during the good times and the bad. The 25-year-old from New Brunswick is presumed dead after the bulldozer he was driving broke through the ice at an inactive tailings pond at Suncor's base plant mine north of Fort McMurray Wednesday. Working a few months out there, coming back home for a month or two and going back out. So it's the last five or six years, I think he was on that kind of schedule. His uncle, the family spokesperson, tells City News his body has yet to be recovered. A spokesperson for Suncor tells City News it happened around 3 p.m. Wednesday. Our emergency services team responded immediately and continues with response activities. Supporting the safety and well-being of our people remains our number one priority, and we have activated critical incident stress debriefing resources. Poitra was an employee of Christina River Construction. We reached out to the company for comment. They did not get back to us in time for broadcast. It's, it's hard. It's hard. It's first of all, it's not something we expect. And uh, especially that young age, full of life and everything. The Poitra family is thanking everyone for the tributes. It warms us up there a bit. Makes us happy to see that Patrick was uh, appreciated by by everybody. This is the second fatal accident to happen at a Suncor mine in northern Alberta in less than a month. In late December, two workers died after a dozer collided with a pickup truck at the Fort Hills mine site. RCMP and Occupational Health and Safety are investigating. In Edmonton, Rochelle Sufi, City News.